In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and automatically create outlines for your interior elevations in Revit. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge, and on this channel, I publish weekly BIM productivity videos, so make sure you don't miss any. For this process, we're going to use Dynamo, but don't worry, it's a very easy one-time setup because my goal is for you to set this up once and let your team use Dynamo Player and get this done with very few clicks. So typically you would have at least one interior elevation sheet or even more. But if you need a lot, I always recommend keeping an empty sheet because this lets you easily duplicate that sheet with similar names and with the right numbering. To do that, select it, Control C, and then you click in the workspace and then hit Control V as many times as you need. And you see that the sheet or the page number is consecutive and you get the same sheet name and then at that point you can customize it let's go to manage dynamo and let's create a new script now before we start let's make sure that we're in manual and then all we need in terms of packages is rhythm so if you don't have it installed go to packages search for a package type rhythm and install it. Now, as usual, I'd like to start from the last node. And in this case, right click in the workspace and we can search for a section override. And we're gonna pick this node from rhythm. The second would be get view ports and views. Now let's connect views with view section. And then for this part, I'm going to need to run this in automatic because we're going to search for sheets. And I need this in automatic because we're getting a reading of the sheets currently present in this file. So let's go ahead and put this back to manual and we're going to connect sheet with sheet. So now all we need is to tell Dynamo the line weight and we're going to do that by specifying the width with the slider. We're going to do an integer slider. And the, the number that you set up here will end up being the default width that you'll use. So just for demonstration, I'll just pick nine. What I usually use is seven, but you're gonna have to run some tests and see what you like. And normally this would be done but as a plus, since we're going to run this as a Dynamo Player script, what I'd like to do is use these two sliders as input. So I'm going to select both and then tell them that they're input. So now let's check out the script and see if it runs properly. And now you see that all the outlines are showing thicker as they should. Now let's take a look at how to deploy this script for your team. All right, question of the day. What is your favorite task that you like to automate with Dynamo? And if you don't use Dynamo yet, what would you like to automate with it? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go to manage Dynamo player. And then you see that by default, of course we don't have the script. So what we're going to do is grab the script that we just created. In this case, I saved it here and I'm going to copy it. And within Dynamo Player, we have this view current folder. Let's click on that. And it's going to open the location of all these scripts and we can paste this script in here. So now when we restart Dynamo Player, our elevation outlines is there. If you have a larger team and or an IT department, I highly recommend you deploy this with the installation of Revit so that the rhythm package is already installed and this script is already pathed correctly. Now within Dynamo Player, all you have to do at this point is go to your script and click on edit inputs. We're going to have to select the sheet and this is the correct one. And we're going to make sure that this is the right line width. So let's press play now and you see that we get all these outlines and then we can do the same for interior elevation, the second sheet. Let's just switch this and we keep the same line width. 
and we press play. And there you have it. Easy, right? Still, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.